Welcome back to Intelligent Bishops and today we are going to discuss some very nice traps in the Sicilian opening from both the sides because Sicilian is considered as the toughest opening in chess and it is very complex there are very complicated lines as well that we are going to discuss in future so please subscribe to our channel so that you will also get to know what are the critical lines but let us see the traps first because many players don't know this so let us start e4 c5 so this is the sicilian knight f3 d6 this is the classical line as it is played on the top level as well d4 attacking in the center c into d4 knight into d4 standard line knight f6 knight c3 so let us look at this move knight f6 is attacking on e4 knight c3 white plays and defends the pawn on e4 knight c6 trying to pressurize this knight although it is supported by the queen but still developing a knight offering exchange but bishop to c4 a new piece is developed and there is an eye on this f7 square as well now look at this situation now black tries to play g6 that is his idea is to play bishop g7 and castle and that's known as the dragon sicilian dragon if you don't know about sicilian dragon there is a trap as well i have uploaded in the previous video you can check it out so this move order black doesn't know that what's going to come next knight into c6 white exchanges the knight and now black is forced to take because the queen is attacked white has already gained a piece b into c6 now guys if you are good in tactics or if you want to improve in tactics pause the video and try to find out how white can win in this situation so yes you are absolutely right it's e5 attacking the pawn as well as attacking the knight it seems that the pawn is free we are going to see what is hap what will happen if the pawn is taken but the key move here is knight to g4 but if black greedily takes this pawn on e5 do you think that white is having position better after queen into queen yeah you spotted it you have spotted it it's bishop into f7 your eye is on the queen but bishop into f7 check it seems that bishop is free but that's a deflection when king into f7 is played queen into d8 and white wins a queen so this was very nice trap in the classical line let's look at another trap e4 c5 now d4 directly challenging in the center without developing the knight c into d4 c3 this is known as the moda gambit white is giving two pawns in the opening but saying to black that okay you take my two pawns but i will develop many pieces in that pawn takes pawn so black gobbles one more pawn knight takes c3 so knight came out also the bishops are free the knight can come anywhere white is having this open file and if you can see black pieces are sleeping so this is the motive behind gambit you sacrifice a pawn for development knight c6 black also bring out, brings out his knight knight f3 one more knight comes out e6 after this bishop c4 the bishop comes out in the game trying to stop the pawn from coming from d coming to d5 as there are four attacks and only two defenses so black cannot play d5 queen to c7 trying to create some pressure on this c file and 
if the knight moves the bishop will also get attacked but castle simply knight f6 now even though white is better in development also white is having a decent position there is a trap in this situation queen e2 it seems that white wants to bring rook to d1 and have a decent position but black surprises white by playing knight to g4 black says yeah i'm just trying to attack but white white says that why why will i have a fear because my knight is guarding this square even even though you are attacking it so i'm guarding it so why should i care i'll just drive away the knight by playing h3 the knight is under attack the knight will just go back what else black can do but black says wait one minute i am looking at this square your knight is guarding it but now i am going to remove the guard from it by playing this move knight d4 what a move knight is attacking the queen knight is attacking the knight you can see what the beauty of this game every piece of black is hanging this knight this knight but white cannot take single piece because if knight into knight then there is this queen has to checkmate and if pawn into knight then knight into queen white will lose his queen so this is a trap in sicilian let's see one more variation that is the sicilian alapin e4 c5 and now white plays c3 this is known as the alapin in which white avoids all the complex uh, variations in sicilian and plays simply solid d6 d4 okay challenging in the center with the support on c3 also there is a pawn chain developed by white white is going to play solid knight f6 attacking the central pawn now white plays d into c5 so what white says i am offering you this central pawn for this sideline pawn black says that okay you have taken my sideline pawn i know you have if i recapture you will take my queen you will break my castle and that's not good for me so what will i do i'll just take a knight into e4 that is the central pawn I don't mind if you take I'll just take back with the knight and I'll be happy but white has opened this diagonal and there comes the trap queen a4 check and the piece is suddenly lost and black is soon going to lose from this position as white is a piece up and completely in control so guys that was it for today I hope you have enjoyed all the three traps in Sicilian and do not forget to like this video comment below on which opening traps you would, would you like to see in the future and subscribe to our channel so that you will get all the chess trip tips and tricks thanks for watching